Module 3, Using Inhalers In this module, you will learn how to use different types of inhalers, what a spacer is, and how to take care of your inhalers. There are two different types of medicines that are used to manage asthma, controller medicine and rescue medicine. Inhalers are the devices that deliver the medicine through your mouth and into your lungs. Two types of inhalers are the metered dose inhaler, or MDI, and the dry powder inhaler, or DPI. Using a spacer helps to deliver the medicine from certain metered dose inhalers, or MDI, more effectively into the lungs. Proper technique is important when using either an MDI or a dry powder inhaler, DPI. A spacer, or holding chamber, is a device that attaches to a metered dose inhaler, or MDI. It makes using an MDI easier because the spacer briefly holds the suspended medicine mist until you breathe it in. Without the spacer, more medicine would be absorbed in your mouth instead of being delivered to your lungs. If you are supposed to use a spacer with your medicine, make sure to use it with each of your MDIs every time you use one. Swish and spit with water after taking your inhaled medicine. A spacer or holding chamber is not necessary with the DPI. Medicine is automatically inhaled when a breath is taken. To use a metered dose inhaler or MDI with a spacer, you should follow these instructions. Stand up or sit up straight. Shake the MDI a few times to mix the medicine. Attach the MDI to the spacer. Breathe out completely. Place the spacer in your mouth and close your mouth tightly around it. Press the MDI to release one puff of medicine into the spacer. Breathe in slowly and deeply. Hold your breath for a count of seven. If you're supposed to take a second dose, wait one minute and then repeat. To keep the spacer clean, Wash it with soap and water, rinse well, and let it dry on a clean towel. Next, we're going to watch a video from the American Lung Association. This video shows how to use a metered dose inhaler. How to use a metered dose inhaler with, with a spacer. This video is brought to you by the American Lung Association. Make sure the inhaler and spacer are free of foreign objects. Shake the inhaler for 10 seconds to mix the medicine and remove the cap from the mouthpiece. Place the inhaler mouthpiece onto the end of the spacer. Hold the inhaler between your index finger and thumb. Stand up and take a deep breath in. Then breathe out as much as you can. Put the end of the spacer into your mouth between your teeth and above your tongue. Close your lips around the spacer. Press down on the inhaler to release the spray and begin to breathe in through your mouth. Breathe in deeply and slowly for about five seconds to pull the medicine deep into your lungs. If the spacer makes a whistling sound, you inhale too quickly. Hold your breath for five to ten seconds or as long as you comfortably can with your mouth closed. Breathe out slowly through your mouth. If you breathe out too quickly, the medicine will not settle into your lungs. Wait one minute before taking a second puff as directed by your health care provider. Repeat these steps if taking a second puff. Rinse your mouth out with water and spit. Thank you for viewing this video from the American Lung Association. To use a dry powder inhaler or DPI, you should follow these instructions. Stand up or sit up straight. Make sure the disc is label side up and held level, otherwise the medicine falls off. Click the disc or wheel as instructed to prepare for the next dose of medicine. Breathe out. Place the mouthpiece in your mouth with lips sealed around it. Breathe in deeply and forcefully. Hold your breath for a count of seven. If you're supposed to take a second puff, wait one minute and then repeat. A spacer or holding chamber is not necessary with the DPI. Medicine is automatically inhaled when a breath is taken. 
Swish and spit with water after taking your inhaled medicine. Next, we are going to watch a video from the American Lung Association. This video shows how to use a dry powder inhaler. How to use a discus. This video is brought to you by the American Lung Association. Hold the discus flat in one hand and put the thumb of your other hand on the thumb grip. Push your thumb away from you as far as it will go until you hear a click. Hold the discus level like you are about to take a bite of a hamburger. Slide the lever away from you as far as it will go until it clicks. Turn your head away from the discus. Take a deep breath in and breathe out. Seal your lips around the mouthpiece. Breathe in deep and steady through your mouth. Hold your breath for 5 to 10 seconds or for as long as you comfortably can with your mouth closed. Breathe out slowly through your mouth. Rinse your mouth with water and spit it out. Thank you for viewing this video from the American Lung Association. It's important to take good care of inhalers so they work properly. They should not be stored in hot cars or other hot places. If an inhaler has expired, the device should be thrown away. It's helpful to keep your inhalers in their original cases so they don't get mixed up. They should also be in one place with your asthma action plan for easy access. This will help you or others know how to take your asthma medicine the right way depending on the symptoms you have. Key points from this module are There are different types of inhalers for different types of asthma medicines. You or your child should use a spacer with your metered dose inhaler. It's important to use your inhalers the right way so you get all the medicine you need to help control your asthma. Take good care of your inhalers so they work the right way.